Hi Cancer, it's Jay from Angels and Ancestors and Lovelies. This is your WTF reading for the end of June. Um, I've put a poll up in the community page. Go and have a look at it. Take part for me. Um, I'll be taking it down probably sometime next week. I've only had one suggestion on there. It wasn't very helpful. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm not quite sure what to do at this point. Um, I bought these amazing things and at some point I may well add them to a reading and I really got inspired this week because I bought these wonderful little things here um, and they are called the witch's rune so much there's fewer of them than there is in a normal room um, deck um, and I got inspired to use them for Libra because it was blatant that Libra had for next for the last two weeks in June um, something a stirring to do with love. And I gave them a good shake and I picked one out just to see what happened. And the romance card came out. I couldn't believe it. I was so shocked. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got the astrological dice which. I've just had a look at, and you've got all the astrological signs on two of the dice, including the sun and the moon. Um, and then you have got all the houses on another dice. And I kind of get what you do is you, you kind of do that with them. Um, that's Gemini... I have no idea what that symbol is and the 12th house so I'm kind of guessing that you do I'll have to check the symbols on them one night um I'm kind of guessing that you do an astrological sign whatever that symbol was and the house and then you do a reading from there so yeah I might actually give those a try on the dailies instead of cards which would be phenomenal i was definitely going to do the witch runes on the dailies probably in the next 10 days because i think we've still got a few to go i was going to start putting them up um sorry recording them at the weekend for the next 10 days so yeah i might might do something completely different for the daily read so let's get on with your reading cancer and we're still, oh yeah, that's the other thing needed to tell you. I've gone back to basics. I've taken a bit of my own advice. I've scaled back the uses of some of the cards. Um, and yeah, we're still going to do the energy card, the WTF and the Angels and Ancestors and the Whispers of Healing. But I've kind of given the others a break. So yeah wasn't sure what direction I was going in. I was being pulled to um, make the decision of going back to basics. So that's what I did. So Cancer, can we have an energy card for Cancer, please, for the end of June? If you like what I do on the channel, please like, share and subscribe for me. It really helps the analytics. It gets the um, video seen um, and it helps us to grow and grow the uh, tribe the community whatever you want to call it um, and see how we go with that Crocker, I was going to say that's being a bit tight what on earth's going on with you cancer and out it pops winter's dream gestation period lovelies what have you been taking a break from what is it that you feel that you needed to kind of just see how things worked out. It's almost like you've been asleep. It's like you've taken a complete break from everything. Um, and it's taken time for you to build up again, to build up what you want, to build your confidence, to build um, the momentum to come out of the dream state and into the reality that you've got a nine. It's a wish fulfillment. And I'm kind of getting that you've built up and built up and built up from that. And I'm going to say to you that for some of you, it's going to be nine months that this has been going on. So it could be a pregnancy. But for some of you, it's nine years that this has been building up, that you've been doing so. So it could be 
gestation period of a business it could be a gestation period perhaps you've had problems having con um, conceiving a pregnancy and it's taken a long time but it's finally giving you the jolt because you're now waking up to the reality that your dream is coming true if it is a business let me tell you you're not just coming out of this dream state you're actually realizing that um by being in the dream state you've kind of done yourself a little bit of a disservice because it's almost like oh shit i've missed the boat other people are doing it don't do that to yourself other people may be doing something similar but they're not doing exactly what you're doing so just take another look and make it unique again to you so my darlings what started the what the fuck for you this week it's only 60 seconds I have to behave myself and then I can start swearing again so it's not too bad I was getting the ump with it last night but I decided I wasn't going to have the ump so facing your fears and taking your power back can I have a manifestation wish fulfillment card for cancer please Thank you. Nice. That's your movement and journey, Cancer. What can Cancer do about this situation, please? Mmm. That's what's out of your hands, what you can't do anything about. Reconnecting to the true you. Oh, nearly dropped all of those. Not taking that many anyway. What's the outcome for cancer, please? Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay, um, Cancer, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. Darling, this would indicate, and I'm going to say that this is your energy. I'm not getting any essence that this is another energy. This is your energy. And it's kind of like you've been sitting, looking over your kingdom with great admiration for the investments that you've made. Very proud of those who are around you, your subjects, um, of what they've achieved with the investment that you've made around them. You've got the nuts that would indicate the cornucopia. You've given a lot of comfort and joy. You've made people feel that their roots run deep. Um, and I'm kind of getting that you've really been the earth mother for a lot of people, not just for your own family. I'm getting that this is extended. This doesn't just go. And male or female, don't get caught up in the name mother because... This is going to be male or female. It's an energy. So there is abundance around you. There is this love and appreciation around you. Um, I'm not getting anything sinister, anything nasty coming through. But I am kind of getting the sense that maybe you're a little bit bored with sitting and looking at admiring at your work you want to you want a bit of excitement you want you don't really want to be grounded you want to be sort of like a water sign and get that emotion going again that deep feeling it's to do with this gestation period so whether you've invested in a business or you've paid out money for something else like a pregnancy like a um, to make sure that you get that dream come true there has been an investment that you're now seeing come to fruition um the queens are lovely creatures all of them they are lovely creatures they they don't tend to be as arrogant and as um
birthright, I'm going to say, as the kings. They're much gentler than the kings. They, they come across, they know their shit basically and they don't need to kind of flex their muscles to um, let people know what they know and how they can cope with things. But I am getting that you're coping with the situation, but I am getting that you really do want um, to feel that emotion running through you. And rightly so, you're a cancer, you're a water sign. Um, but then when you put earth and water together, what do you get? You get growth, don't you? So perhaps you need to look at things from a different perspective and see how much you've grown by being earthed out rather than discounting it altogether. Um but just know the roots run deep and you've done that. You've done that. You've made that tree unshakable. Other people cannot come in and disturb your investments. They just can't. So cancer, facing your fears and taking your power back. You've certainly self-limited over a period of time. Your nature, that bear's looking at you going, why are you sitting in a trap? I ain't putting my paw in it. Mm -mm. No, no fucking way. Uh, not doing that. I'm off. I'm going to go and dance with the wood nymphs coming. And you're like, mm, I don't know, this trap, this trap. And it's self-restriction, darling. That's what it is. You're focused on something that's making you stay in the same place. Instead of clearing out the debris and moving on and making room for new growth, there is something that is holding you back. And facing your fears is grabbing what is holding you back. Good, bad or indifferent embracing it working out why it's holding you back and then releasing it let it go let it go let the universe take it just let it go that's how you're going to take your power back and it sounds so simple but it is so true manifestation wish fulfillment why it may be fucked not fucked here you are manifesting like mad there's something you're doing a project or a plan with the six of wands that is going to bring you back to being quite triumphant i'm getting there's a little bit of impatience around you because there is passion and desire behind this and this could be one of your projects one of your babies that you're kind of like really really passionate about and it really does get you quite emotional um, community, friends, family and all that sort of stuff, they understand where you're coming from. But it's also the attraction card. So as you do this, as you become um, successful in what it is that you're doing, you will 100% change your inner light. It will glow so brightly and you will start getting... Random people just walking up to you, smiling at you, saying hello, opening doors for you, male or female, I have to say. There is only energy here. Um, this is what you're manifesting. It's coming towards you. I can see it. I can see now somebody riding high on this horse and feeling really good about themselves. And, and rightly so. Rightly so. Um, because I am getting that this has been a long time coming. It's a long time coming. So your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. I do get an essence that maybe this is around a project, a plan or a person, but definitely a project or a plan. You've got this Ace of Wands that is drawing energy down from the parting clouds and allowing the sun to peep through to ripen off these beautiful cherries. Now, they are your bites of the cherries. They come in two, two, four, oh no they don't there's a three they're three six um eight there's ten there so as usual there's a ten there's a completion where there's ten there's also this beautiful new beginning around projects and plans something that's massively desirable to you and it may be that you've had this gestation period and you're re-kick-starting your passion and desire in life so you're what you can do about the situation, as soon as I put this card down, I heard stop staying still. Now, normally I would get the stay still card and I say, stay, stay still, go with him. No, they want to see <clears throat> some forward movement from you. They want to see you not just standing on the dock waiting for the ship to come in. They want you to actually go and jump on that ship and go to where you need to be and 
please don't take that as a literal thing go and jump on a bloody ship in the middle of the ocean could be an aeroplane could be metaphorical and it could mean just walking forwards towards what it is that you want so my darlings what's out of your hands what the universe is working with you on or behind the scenes on on your behalf you've got the eight of chalices darlings you really don't know what the fuck to do do you the chalices are in the upright the sun is shining for you and you are scratching your chin and you are just in this mood where you're like hell i don't fucking know i don't know what to do i don't know where to go with this um i have to say the first thing that you need to do is stop self-restricting make yourself a list of what it is that you need to do rather than what you want to do because you need to do that cleansing that clearing that actioning and making sure that you aren't staying stagnant in one place or allowing a business to go stagnant or you know if you've tried um for a baby and now you're kind of wondering if you're gonna have another go at it just have another go at it you know if money is um an issue there is investment there you know there is you know you can find the money to do this so yeah the eight of chalices it's communication with self it's giving yourself that pep talk now come on we need to make a decision because at the end of the day if you are in this mood that means you've got an option and while you've got an option you haven't got your answer it's as simple as that so darlings reconnecting to your true self in comes the holly king here's the seeker of knowledge wisdom and guidance for and around all human beings he is known as the hermit in other decks he goes off he contemplates the um question of life he kind of like thinks things through mulls things over um but the one thing that he does do is come through as father time and he is saying it is time with the five chalices to release whatever ails you whatever is upsetting the apple cart cancer just let it go let the wind take it let it leave it where it is in the past do not try to retrace your steps around that it's never going to work so your outcomes down at the seven of thames this is walking towards a brand new way of life um something you've never done before maybe uh moving from the city to the country or vice versa but you are looking over your shoulder appreciating the lessons that you have learned um, and you're taking those life skills with you um you can't take everybody with you you can't take people with you but just know that they are there for you if you do wish to return at any point um and the reason that you're moving on and you're moving away is because you shone a light into this wild hunt and you saw something that maybe didn't quite sit well with you that's how i'm going to put it i'm not going to say it was a lie or an untruth or anything like that but i'm going to say it didn't sit well with you and you've decided not to rebuild that tower you've decided that you are walking away to a brand new way of life now when i'm saying a brand new way of life as well keep in mind that a brand new way of life if you had a baby to mix that's a brand new way of life believe me been there seen it done it um it changes your life forever if it's a business it's going to change your life for the better because you have had to face the facts and the truth of whatever it is that you uncovered in that wild hunt in order to make this decision going forward and what's hidden from you the decision going forward is walking towards this beautiful door that is slightly ajar but it's illuminated with the three of the thames and it's saying you have no idea what is behind that door none but i have to say it is far better for you to take that movement that journey forwards than it is to stay in a place of stagnation so let's ask the whispers of healing 
for a card for cancer for the end of June, please. Thank you. Do you love it when they direct themselves at that deck? Oh, somebody else had this this week. I can't remember who it was. Number 38 is an 11. This is, it is a learning, it's a teaching card. It's a soul number, a prime number. Um, and it's called Reliable. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of getting, it doesn't matter what tune you play, you reliably get it right. You reliably get it right. Now, a tune for me does not necessarily have to be something whether you formally play um, a musical instrument, whether you sing, whether you can sing, whether you can't sing, it doesn't matter. The reliability, where you are reliable in this is music makes your soul sing and it brings you a lot of joy. And the reliable bit of this card is that people depend on you to... And I'm going to say to make their soul sing. It's not your job, darlings. They have to find their own way to make their, their soul sing. You need to find your way of making your soul sing. And I'm being told that that is through music. So, my darlings, let's go to the angels and the ancestors for some knowledge, wisdom and guidance. Crikey, they came out quick. And we have got Protection Guardian. Drop your shields. Just remember when you are thinking about stopping the self-restriction um, and going for whatever your hearts desire, rejection is not protection, darling. It isn't. So drop those shields. Stargazer, set your sights higher. Winter, take care of your needs. See us, see beyond the current situation. Hermit, recharge and retreat, or both, vice versa. Medicine Guardian, be open to healing information. Darling Cancer, wherever you are in the world, please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.